dear students in today's session we are going to learn how to find the nature index rank and signature for a given quadratic form which is reduced into canonical form simply we will take it as ni or s before we found the nature index rank signature let us have a quick recap which we did in our previous video how to reduce the quadratic form to canonical form step 1 we have to find the real symmetric matrix similarly you have to find the characteristic equation and the eigen values that is also available in the playlist you can watch it if you don't watch this already step 3 we are going to find the eigen vectors for the corresponding eigen values whether it is repeated or non repeated then step 4 we have to find the modal matrix step 5 we have to find the normalized modal matrix n and then in step 6 we are going to find the diagonalized matrix d finally at 7 we found the canonical form so once you find the canonical form the next step the extra thing is we have to find the rank index nature and signature before seeing this video if you didn't watch the video how to reduce the quadratic form into canonical form first go to the playlist watch this video which is displayed in the screen then come back here it will be more easy for you so now the quadratic form given to us is x transpose ax where the quadratic form x has n variables the next transpose is represented like this then the matrix a should be of order n cross n now how to find the rank from the quadratic form rank of the quadratic form is nothing but number of positive and negative eigen values or we simply say number of non zero eigen values of a will give you the rank of a matrix let us consider some examples suppose the eigen values are 1 2 and 3 all the eigen values are non zero so the rank is going to be 3 next if you consider eigen values 1 2 and minus 3 for a matrix it may be minus 3 but it doesn't matter this is also non zero and this 2 is also non zero so my rank is 3 when you get zero you have to neglect that zero suppose 0 2 3 are your eigen values and you have two non zero values so my rank is 2 similarly if you have even a negative value it doesn't matter you have to count the non zero values so the rank is 2 and finally for the eigen values 0 1 0 the rank is 1 so it is very clear rank is nothing but the non zero eigen values of a given symmetric matrix next one index index of the quadratic form is the number of positive eigen values of a so we have to take only the positive eigen values count so we should not count the negative for example as well as we should not count the zero we have to count only the positive eigen values we'll take the same example the number of positive eigen values is here 3 next i have two eigen values are positive that is 1 and 2 and the count is 2 next we have to neglect zero zero is neither positive nor negative okay we should not count in positive so the number of positive eigen values are 2 similarly the number of positive eigen value here it is only 1 we have to leave the zero as well as we have to leave the minus 3 so the number of positive eigen value is 1 and similarly here the number of positive eigen value count is also 1 hope you understand now index of the quadratic form is nothing but the number of positive eigen values of the symmetric matrix a next signature signature of the quadratic form is the difference between number of positive and negative eigen values of a so first we have to know the difference between difference and subtraction suppose i am taking 5 minus 2 it is going to be 3 2 minus 5 is minus 3 but when we go for difference we have to do the notation like this 5 difference 2 or 2 difference 5 the difference is simply 3 we cannot notate the negative symbol you can see the example suppose you tell one student is 80 kg the other one is 60 kg if you ask what is the difference between these two students in weight we will say 20 kg we will never say 
minus 20 kg. Now, hope you understand what is the idea about the difference. So, signature is the difference between number of positive and negative eigenvalues of A. Let us take the same examples. Here, we have 3 positive eigenvalue and 0 negative eigenvalue. So, the difference is going to be 3 different 0, that is 3. Next one, we have 2 positive eigenvalues and minus 3, that is 1 negative eigenvalue. Then, the difference between 2 and 1 is 1. When you go for 0, 2, 3, the 0 is neither positive nor negative. So, I have 2 positive eigenvalues and 0 negative eigenvalues. So, my signature is 2. When the case for 0 minus 2, for the case of 0, 2 and minus 3, we have 1 positive eigenvalue and 1 negative eigenvalue. So, the difference is going to be 0. And finally, for 0, 1, 0, we have 1 positive eigenvalue and 0 negative eigenvalues. So, the difference is 1. So, now it is very clear, signature is nothing but the difference between number of positive and number of negative eigenvalues of the symmetric matrix A. Next, we are going to learn how to find the nature. If all the eigenvalues of A are positive, then the nature is going to be positive definite. For example, if your eigenvalues are 1, 2, 3, all are positive. So, I will say the nature of the matrix or I will say the nature of the quadratic form is positive definite. Next, it is very obvious if all the eigenvalues of the matrix A, which is symmetric, is negative, then I will say it as negative definite. Suppose you consider the same example, the eigenvalues minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, then the nature is going to be negative definite because all the eigenvalues are negative. Next, if all the eigenvalues are, if all the eigenvalues of A are greater than or equal to 0, that means some eigenvalues may be 0. So, the condition says that with at least one eigenvalue should be 0. If at least one eigenvalue should be 0, then the nature is going to be positive semi-definite because the remaining eigenvalues are positive. So, it is said to be positive semi-definite. Let us see some examples. Suppose the eigenvalues are 0, 2 and 3. I have one eigenvalue 0 and the remaining two eigenvalues are positive. So, I will say the nature of the quadratic form is positive semi-definite. Similarly, if I take two eigenvalues which are 0 here and one is positive, then I will say still it is positive semi-definite. Hope you understand. If the eigenvalues of the symmetric matrix A is always greater than or equal to 0, with at least one eigenvalue equal to 0, then we say it as positive semi-definite. A similar thing, if all the eigenvalues of a real symmetric matrix is less than or equal to 0, with at least one eigenvalue is equal to 0, then we say this as negative semi-definite. Let us see an example. So, here two eigenvalues are negative and the third eigenvalue is 0. So, I can say it as negative semi-definite. Similarly, 0, 0, minus 3, two eigenvalues are 0 and one eigenvalue is negative. I will say it as negative semi-definite. Next, finally, we have indefinite. If a symmetric matrix A has one positive eigenvalue and one negative eigenvalue, then the nature is going to be indefinite. We don't want to bother about the third eigenvalue. If you see one positive and one negative eigenvalue, then you can write immediately the nature of the quadratic form is indefinite. Let us see some examples. The first eigenvalue is 1, the second eigenvalue is minus 2 and the third one is minus 3. First one is positive, second one is negative. Immediately, we say it is indefinite, we don't want to bother about the third eigenvalue. Similarly, one positive eigenvalue, one negative eigenvalue, I don't want to worry about the third eigenvalue, I'll say it as indefinite. The first eigenvalue is positive, second one is negative. Even if you have zero, it doesn't matter, it is going to be indefinite. 
Similarly, if the order is changed, like the first eigenvalue is zero and the remaining two are positive negative, we are going to have the same result. Hope you understand. If a eigenvalue is positive and the other eigenvalue is negative, immediately I will say the nature of the quadratic form is indefinite. Let us see some examples. Suppose your final answer you will be getting like this. That means your eigenvalues are minus two, three, six. So the rank is going to be three non-zero eigenvalues and we have only two positive eigenvalues so my index is two and when i want to go for signature two positive eigenvalue one negative eigenvalue the difference is one that is my signature is one and it has one negative eigenvalue one positive eigenvalue i will say it as indefinite next we have three eigenvalues zero three and fifteen so we have two non-zero eigenvalues. My rank is two, and the number of positive eigenvalues is two. So my index is two. When I go for signature, I have two positive eigenvalues and no negative eigenvalues. So two different zero is going to be two. Then two positive eigenvalues and the third eigenvalue is zero. Therefore the nature is going to be positive semi-definite. Next, finally, we have 4, 1, 1. All the three eigenvalues are non-zero, so rank is 3. All are positive, so index is 3. Then 3 positive eigenvalue, no negative eigenvalue. The difference is going to be 3, so signature is 3. All are positive, no zeros, so it is said to be positive definite for the nature. Hope you understand, students. So I have given a clear picture about how to find the nature, index, rank and signature. So this can be asked as a additional data in the part C question while they ask for reduce the quadratic form into canonical form and hence find the rank, nature, index and signature. Thanks for your patience. Kindly subscribe our channel, share to your friends, let everyone get benefited. Let us see in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.